Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barra in Seattle, Washington, joined as I am every Monday and Wednesday, and we wish it was more, but Jen has a stress level that has to be maintained. Yeah. Uh, every Monday and Wednesday by my co-host, the lovely lady with the lustrous hair, Jennifer Falad Doreen in Hayden, Idaho. Jen, Jen, how yes. was your Tuesday? I always like Tuesdays. Tuesday was a good day. Yeah. Very busy, productive day. Okay, now before anybody says anything, uh, this is a froze. I got this. I went to the dermatologist yesterday, and he froze this little thing on my face. And he found something on my leg, which he's biopsied, which I'm hoping ends up being nothing. But if not, I'm going to be cut for the third time this year by this dude. I think this dude is, is razor happy. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, this is just this is just to use a little... Uh, Nitrous oxide, is that what they use? To just freeze off a little thing on my face. Because I wanted it gone. I, I he didn't think it was anything, but I wanted it gone. So don't freak out about that. It's not a pimple. It's just that. But I didn't go to the dermatologist. And I think it's important, especially I thought what I wanted to do is I want to get a baseline before I move to a very sunny place like Las Vegas. So that's all that's going on with that. In other news, um, we have... We continue to have um, people popping up on various social media who never appeared before saying very questionable, critical things. And I think we all know who those are, who those people are. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, pay no attention to the trolls. They have been pushed away and they will be blocked. OK, other news and things that are going on. Um, the Iraqi budget has been signed by the prime minister of Iraq which I think is a step forward. Um, the way Mark describes it is that the money, the budget, the way they have it set up now, it will not work. So it has to be a higher revalued way to, a rate in order for their numbers to fit. And he thinks that that is well over a dollar. Um, you know, most of us, even a dollar would make us very happy. So I wanted to ask you if we can, if, I know this is, really isn't a Gentile day, but um, is this a significant event, and do you think it's going to help us see some movement in the next week? Well, let's ask one question at a time. Is week this or a two, week or two? Week or two. Um, I did get in the gentle um, on Monday. Um, I said financial. Where are we at? He said it has is or has been signed into law. I assume he was referring to that. Yeah, that's what he was. Um, yeah. The transition team is on the way to Zurich to finalize, um, and it's alliance team. Yes, yeah. so I think that those are two <laughs> different things. Yeah, and and by the way, if you if you talk to Mark, if you watch Mark's show, I know you don't really watch it very often, but if you watch his news segments, he's always talking about I my I've checked my my contacts in Reno and my contacts in Zurich. So your Zurich thing was dead on. Mark is always and that could have been in my mind. Yeah, but when I got it, I, I was questioning that Zurich. Yeah. That yeah. sounds totally random. Like, oh, well, no, just write it, down, is, it, it is a major bank. <laughs> that's where the Swiss banking um, cabals uh, have all. But I usually don't watch Mark um, until yeah. I get like the highlights later because he's on at like 7 a.m. for me. Mm -hmm. And that's when I'm like up with my coffee. Like, OK, what do we have to do today? <laughs> I'm yeah, trying to wake uh, up. And what do we have to do today? I'm delirious when I get up. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, guys, you haven't seen a lot of me on social media uh, really because most of the time I mean I've just got a lot of financial things to deal with to get this house thing set up and at some point once I know the date that I'm moving I'm gonna have to start dealing with moving and what am I gonna do with all this stuff and you realize how much of this stuff do I really need how much of this stuff do I really want to take with me and how much of this stuff more importantly do I want to pay for to move you know 1500 miles so <clears throat> I don't know. We shall see. 
Well, um, you we... probably will have more room, and you have a garage, so put things in bins and label it if it's personal. You can go yeah, through it later. Great. Although I, I am thinking about in the second bedroom. I'm thinking about I should get the master by all rights, but because of you know, because dog, because of different reasons, it might be better for Dave to have the master um, bedroom. And then I'm thinking, but then I'm thinking I don't like the way the other bedrooms laid out. So maybe yeah. I'll blow one of the walls out into the garage and put, put my closet in the garage. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that are going through my mind now, which, uh, which is different. Oh, uh, even Simon Parks has posted about the Iraqi uh, prime minister signing off on the budget. So go check that out if you want. Um, oh. And confirmation, just, you know, I think different things happening in that paragraph that I recently yeah, how dare I call it a master bedroom? I watched this guy named Chuckets Crucelwatt, who is just an amazing dumb shit, but he's a realtor in Las Vegas, right? And I like to watch his shows because this, you know, he does he does property tours for he's been doing them for five years, ever you know, from four hundred and fifty thousand up to five point five ten million, something like that. You know, he does these tours, but he's so he's so dumb. Um, he, one time there was a there was an Alexa. Uh, and he says, hey, it says, it's his sign says, you know, hey, Alexa will open and close the drapes and turn on and turn off all the lights, you know, try it. And he goes, Alexia, open the drapes. <laughs> he kept saying, Alexia, Alexia. And he goes, oh, it doesn't work. He goes, kind of stupid for them to put this thing out there. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we love Chuck because he's, he's a good hearted guy. But um, <clears throat> just don't say anything. Just let it well, go. Well, right. But uh <laughs> But it, you know, it's it's just like he, he's just a, a, an amusing guy, and it's like you just you gotta ask the right question. So uh, that's not where I was going with that. I somehow lost it in my train of thought. But uh, mm -hmm. funny stuff. So anyway, the Durham thing. Durham is testifying today. Nothing earth shattering um, that I that I've seen so far. It's what we expected and what we already knew. And then Hunter Biden got a sweetheart deal yesterday you said hunter is flipped and hunter is talking a uh, long time <clears throat> has been for a long time yeah for a long time um so is this part of him you know part of his reward for flipping on his dad or the person playing his dad it could be i do think that um that part of it is just with the courts and not the military courts, but he may have been allowed to live. Um, just one by one, um, it's lining up with this Durham thing and with everything and the disappointments and everything. Um, <clears throat> back to the beginning, the military is the only way. And uh, just when I was, I was, it, I was listening to the Durham thing this morning when I was waking up a little bit and I'm like, Oh my God, that once again, it'd been so long since I listened to the house Democrats on some kind of panel like that. It was just like, you know, this is so upsetting. <laughs> but one thing he said that I, that stuck out to me was from, from the available evidence, the evidence that was available to him. So you have to remember that a lot of evidence about, you know, certain, people that ran for president and things like that were, yeah. was destroyed. And the cabal is very good at covering their tracks. And I'm sure they knew that he was coming. And he was only allowed to find whatever he could find for evidence. So it just backs up the Q posts that say that the military is the only way. And I think that's what we're seeing unfold right now. Yeah. Um, sorry, Jen, I'm distracted looking at... You know, the stuff. Supreme Court, uh, Hunter Biden, uh, we waited for Durham all this time. And why the hell does it take three, four years to get anything done with government? That is so annoying. Uh, yeah, it, because they had all the basic evidence within a month or two. Uh, right. Really. So it, it just takes... Um, takes a tremendous now amount. when on the gentile i think the gentile was that the durham will be <laughs> shocking i don't know how long ago that was it yeah was that was ago. about four weeks four or five weeks ago when we thought he would testify in may i think it was and it is shocking 
it's shocking that there, there wasn't more indictments. It's shocking that this is like, you're watching this, you're like, all this time we've been waiting on this guy? And he comes out and you think he's going to come out like Superman and be like, well, you guys are screwed. And he's just like mild-mannered and soft-spoken. And I think he's doing a good job. But like, it's just real evident that if the DOJ and the FBI and the, all these agencies are in control of the evidence and covering it up and have been for so long. Yeah, I think and, it's showing us that, hey, this is why the military is the only way. We and failed here, we failed there, good. the election, everything else. Um, what's right. the NSA that has all the real evidence? Yeah, that's what I've heard, is that NSA has all the all the real evidence. The other thing, too, Jen, that you said is, you know, Durham's not going to come out prosecuting all these people because it's not within the purview of his investigation. This is some of these things. Most of the stuff is treason. And that goes to a much higher level than he is allowed to prosecute, which right. is a very good point. Uh, um, Lindsay, yeah, this is where I was going with the Chuck It's Crucible Watt thing. On his videos, he started calling it a primary bedroom. I'm like, fuck that. Because, because oh, master has slave connotations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, sweetie, if you're in my bedroom, I'm the master. So it's a master bedroom. Uh, just so you know, lady. Right. Just right. so you know, ladies. Uh, yeah, that's why I was going with the Chuck and Screws a lot story. Yeah, now Jeff Sessions, trust Sessions, yeah way past trusting sessions please guys some of you guys are already putting some questions over here in the chat i'm going to make sure to make sure i mark them and get to them just want to let you know that um again it, we we really need your real name and the name of the person or entity or animal that you might be asking about so it's important to have real names um in this thing for jen to work um jen anything else you want to talk about oh by the way uh I got a I got a bit of a surprise. I've been there was like three hundred dollars of money in Rumble um, that's been there for two years, and I finally got a check in the mail from Rumble. Cool. <laughs> so now, it, because my bank is a Chinese bank, and there's a long story behind that, it's going to take me like three months to actually get the three hundred ninety two dollars. But Jen, when I do party in Vegas. Um, oh yeah, have a big party. Um, for but, a uh, but you guys can contribute to the show now on Rumble. So if you go and, and open a Rumble account, let me show you a Rumble. If you go to open a Rumble account and um, subscribe to our channel, Real News Live, we've only got two thousand and eight hundred and three followers. You can do a subscription thing for a certain amount of money. Um, there's actually no, there's like nobody in the chat on Rumble. There's 207 watching, and you can do a little, what they call them is rumble rants. You can do a little bit of uh, contrib con contributing to the show that way. If you'd like $5, $10, all that stuff, I will now apparently be able to get it out of rumble and pass it on to the sweet, the, the lovely Jen as well. So, Oh, really? Good. Okay. Maybe. Cool. Maybe if you're good. Got it. <laughs> it's enough. Uh, Jen, you look very that blue blouse and dress. Says Thank you. Adams. I like that. Okay. All right. Uh, all you can eat buffet in Vegas. Yeah. So um, we can finally generate, you know, we'll never be able to monetize our YouTube channels unless YouTube is completely, the leadership is completely replaced, but we will be able to get a little bit out of Rumble. So if you'd like to give us a little bit of money, go over to Rumble and five bucks, 10 bucks. It, it kills me when I watch the Y Files after show there. They're like after file show. They do they do their new episode on Thursday night and then they do a live stream for about four hours. And they must pull in 25 grand and just on just on their live stream. And I'm like, oh man, I wish that we could Yeah, do I've it. never done that. I when I do my shows, I don't monetize. I don't yeah. because of the intro I like for my philosophy show, it has some um, picture in there that i used that was supposed to be royalty free and i guess it's not and yeah i got popped for it and they're like you can't monetize i'm like 
Yeah, that's probably a lie. All the shows on Home and Garden TV, the house building or repairing, love it or listen, et cetera, they all call the master bedroom the primary now. It's so stupid. It is stupid, and we are not going to let them change the language. It is a master bedroom. It is not a primary bedroom, and it is a UFO, not a fucking UAP, okay? So we're not going to let the government change our language. Okay, Jen. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to share today or any little bits of intel you may have got or Jen telling you may have gotten over the last couple of People days? People are asking me about the submarine. I really haven't gotten anything on that. Oh, the submarine. Yeah, that yeah. would be a good subject, though. Um, there's a billionaire trapped in the submarine. And last I heard, they actually supposedly had heard some banging from the inside. The problem is they can't find the freaking thing. Then how can they hear banging from the inside? Because they've got sonar buoys down there. They've got sonar buoys that are listening for uh, sound waves. Oh. So they can do it, do it that way. But you would think if they heard that, they could triangulate and find out where it is. You would think. I'll have to spend some time and ask. I just, off the top of my head, I'm just drawing a blank on that for some well, you reason. Know, I don't know why. You know, the legend is a lot of billionaires who were opposed to the Federal Reserve System were on the Titanic. And there's a rumor that that's why it was actually sunk, that it wasn't an iceberg, it was a torpedo and yada, yada, yada. So we don't know that. Well, maybe they took, you know, maybe there's evidence of that and they don't want, but but we've already, mm -hmm. we've already had docu with mm -hmm. documentaries. I mean, who's doing that? Yeah, so that's, um, that's not going to be the reason. But there was some other billionaire, you know, a very important person in that submersible. So, and it's weird. It's also very weird because, because like the Russians go down and do, uh, do missions to the Titanic, but they always have two submarines. They have the main one with the people and they have backup where they can perform a rescue if something happens to the main one. These guys don't do that. Why would you take that kind of risk? If you, right. You're, you're a billionaire. The world is at your feet. Why, why would you take that? I mean, I think anybody, something I, um, nefarious has happened. Yeah. Personally, if I was a, uh, don't forget it's no longer, it's, it's an, yeah, and there's no longer a master bathroom. It's an ensuite. Yeah, I think it's E N suite and ensuite. No, it's a toilet. It's a toilet, a bathtub, and a shower, and some sinks. Okay, that's what it is. So the uh, only thing I have on that is when the girl's um, face sent me a video when it happened from TikTok or something, mm -hmm. and I think I shared it. But sometimes first response uh, is the best, and I and she says, "Well, why would this happen?" And I said, "Because there's a war under going on underneath the water." That's what I said. I don't have any confirmation on that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there is. Well, you know, Ron Davidoff, I don't understand why they don't just call up Admiral Harriman Nelson and send the Sea View down to do a rescue. I mean, come on. Or Roy Scheider's boat. What was that thing called? Uh, sea View. Let's send the submarine Sea View. Now, let's see. Let's see. If a private submarine went down deep enough where there was activity going on under the water and saw that or got in the middle of it, then we're going to have to have some kind of story. Okay, what happened to these people? Uh, they got lost. We're looking yep. for them. Yep. Just saying. But it is interesting that a billionaire has disappeared. A lot of billionaires have died in the last five or six years. <clears throat> the owner of the Leicester City Football Club died in a mysterious helicopter crash, leaving the grounds of his team. You know, he took a helicopter and landed in the middle of the field got out, went to his suite. At the end of the game, he would go back out to get his helicopter, and it, it went up in the air, and it started spinning out of control, and then it crashed in the parking lot. That was like five years ago. So just a lot of interesting. Mm -hmm. Who's Barkley's primary owner? Uh, Dave Barra, I guess. So, <clears throat> All right, anything else before we move on? I do think, oh, what about the alien in Vegas? Have you seen any of that video? Not since we talked about it before. There's more video of the Vegas alien. Maybe while let's you're doing, if, if you give a long okay, let's see it. All right. Well, you, you entertain the troops while I look at the Vegas okay. alien. Okay. Alien How video. am I gonna entertain the troops? Um. <laughs> now what's really interesting, Jen, is um is that the Vegas alien um okay, body cam. I want, to, I want to make sure I get one. Okay. That's just a weird report. I want to make sure I get one with the actual footage because 
there does appear to be something standing behind these guys' tractor. There really does. Um, <clears throat> Las Vegas backyard alien. Well, let's just try the first one. Okay, that's eight minutes. Okay, so let's see if we get. I know that they've talked to the, the family's been talked to, and most people are convinced that they're not making it up. People keep asking me about the Schumann residence, and they're so concerned about it. Okay, you guys need to use your internal uh, meters to figure out what's going on around you. All you really have to do is sit quietly and just kind of take in the energy of the world at this time. And we've seen it many times where there's something going on with the energies. Everything's out of whack. You know, I just feel off, you know, things like that. Um, there's a lot of turbulence going on in the world right now. People are either have risen, their vibrations has, have risen, and then there's a lot who's have fallen. So that so we've got this going on. Okay. It don't matter what the resonance says. You know what matters is what's going on around you in your circle and in your life. Tune into that. Act accordingly. I don't really care what's going on with the resonance. I, I tell you the truth. I don't follow it. Um all these measurements and everything else um, doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it accurately predicts anything other than um, surges of energy. You know, I don't think we're going to get blacked out by a solar flash anytime soon. Um, it's not the end of the world. I've asked that. They said, no, that's way in the future, the whole revelation thing. Um, this is another shift because evil has once again risen to a level that is unacceptable and could possibly take over the entire dimension. And so we have to have these shifts. We have to have these periods in time where we take a look at it and we say, no, 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 no. It's time to make a change and get back things back in balance. <clears throat> what you're seeing on that could be the imbalance. And I don't really know enough about it. Yeah. But I don't really care much about it. Which is, uh, which is, there's, I, I know somebody who wrote a book about that exact thing, like in 2010, talking about up to 2024, that's exactly what we'd be going through, choosing our new future. Uh, so it's a great book. What was it called? No, oh, yeah, it's the called choice. choice. I think I have the Choice that. by Mike Barra. Yeah, it was really interesting. It's, you no, know, it's really fascinating though, Jen, to see all these things that I saw coming and they're all happening. They're not happening maybe exactly as I saw them. I said, things are going to get really weird. I said something like, people, you're going to get new political leaders coming out of nowhere that you're not. And I wish I would have said somebody like Donald Trump. Then I want to look like a complete genius, but I didn't say that. So, all right, let's go to the Las Vegas uh, UFO um, video here, the Las Vegas alien video. And uh, I will do a screen share and we will let you look at it. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> I'll turn the sound up and play. And on the left is where some people think this alien is standing behind this tractor. Like that's an eye. Can you see my cursor? Can you guys see my cursor? I can, but that is so small. Yeah, I know. And the video is not great. And then there's other people that say they see something creepy by the, the, um, the fence here. But what I'm going to show you is that the thing is supposed to be somewhere in this area. So let's just maybe try to evaluate what, the um how the family reacts watch these people over here how they react when they reach a certain point Okay, 
Diles, ahí están los dos amigos, teniendo vagas. Con el camión lo concha de cable. Con el camión segundo de izquierda para acá, de cables. Cay, ya no tiene cable en la del. Ah, el concha de lo concha de cable. Cay, pues, cay, cay. Forklift o camión. Sí, there it is, moving. Catelo, pegachari, palalo, catelo. Right in there. Palalo, diles, diles que a casa de Lombrín dije. Viene un chavo, viene un chavo, o sea, pegachari, con ciudad de lo. Aquí dice, cabrón, la del que quiere. Right there. Cae, cae, cae. Cotelo de que acá, dile que acá callale, ahí yo muy pelón, sí, pelón, varón, pelón. Ya, yo. los teados, dije los redes. Concha, que la de que chucha, vamos. So. You send that to me privately on Messenger or something so I can tune in. I can. I can. And there's probably, there's actually some better, probably close up versions of it. So, why is this released now? Yeah, good question. Why is this coming out now? Wait a minute, let me stop sharing. Another question. When somebody puts video out on TikTok, do they make money on that? Yeah, there's a few people on TikTok. For clicks? Yeah. Just saying. Well, there's other there's other videos. I should have actually thought this through. Not here. It's not like to Messenger or something, so I can look on my phone and like, I'm blind. Mm. I have to... Like two sets of glasses and the bifocal right here. It's very embarrassing, but that's what it is. Okay. Um, just give me a sec. This is live internet TV, folks. Live internet TV. Okay, Messenger. New gen. Okay. All right, so that's sent. Here. Yeah, what were they saying? I know that one of them said something about big eyes. Uh, got big eyes, big eyes, scary big eyes. I'm sorry. I know you guys want to know, see that there's an alien here. I'm still getting deception. I don't know what to tell you. The energy of deception. Okay. But I could be biased because I have seen so many paranormal videos and orb photos and everything over the year and uh, over the years, and most of them are nothing. Okay, until I get a consciousness from something and it gives me like a <gasps> feeling, it's, it's, I don't tell it's not. Yeah, but thing. remember, these things are kind of soulless. They're not, a lot of them are clones. All right, Valid let me point. show you. Valid point, but let me screenshot this crap. Let me see. Here, I got, actually got a better, bigger. Really getting screen. annoying with, oh, you know what? I have the wrong glasses on and that's what I'm look at. <laughs> I have a better, bigger hang screen on. video here. So hang, hang on. on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me I'm do just messing screen. around over here. I'm trying to get it bigger so I can see it. Well, here I, I've got a bigger version. Is what I'm trying. What I'm saying. Okay. There's not a face in the. You want to watch it? I got a bigger version of it here. You want a bigger version on your phone? <laughs> is that what you're saying? It's not a face in the equipment. It's just when you go looking for faces, yeah. Okay, you will see them in reflections. You'll see them at you know oh, the tree and this and that on a window. Look, there's a face looking out of the the house. I, yeah, I don't really see anything here, and then I see. that is that something is that it that's what they thought it was right there in the middle you just touched but that is not an alien and they are not that tall well yeah he said there was one tall one and one short one i believe there would be a short one inside the craft <clears throat> yeah you know i'm just not really seeing I'm not seeing anything but it is pretty weird <clears throat> yeah I just zoomed in there for a second okay there, so there's there's people behind the equipment okay that's disappointing but that does not mean that something didn't fall out of the sky and I believe that it does but I just think that this video series is kind of like the cover up of whatever fell out of side and, and, and sky and whoever came to get it but this is kind of like doing the the opposite 
say, oh, that's a hoax. So they put out the hoax video so that you'll think the whole thing was a hoax since it's part of the cover-up. So, Well, and there's one other point I'm going to make here, um, which is that a lot of people try to say that the uh, face on Mars, and things like that, are the product of what they call pareidolia, which is this human tendency to see faces and patterns where none exist. First it was faces. Now they say it's patterns where none exist. And I'm the second world's second biggest expert on the face on Mars. I'm just going to say that flatly. Richard Hoagland is number one. I'm number two. I don't see anything in that. I, I, I've been looking for the alien. I can't see it. So if pareidolia is really a thing and it's some sort of defect of the human mind, well, guess what? It ain't working in my case. Or the bottom line is there's no fucking such thing as pareidolia. There isn't. Humans are supposed to recognize faces. They're supposed to recognize their mom and their dad. When they don't, it's a defect in how the brain functions. It's called prosospagnosia. It's prosospagnosia. And it's been tracked. They know what part of the brain is in, not functioning, all this stuff. It exists. There is no such thing as pareidolia. It was actually invented by a guy who was attacking the face on Mars the term itself, in Skeptical Inquirer magazine in 1994. It's not a medical thing. It's not a real thing. So if it existed, if pareidolia was a thing, we'd all be easily able to see an alien there. And we don't see anything. I don't see anything. I see a bunch of blocks. So, but let's ask the other question. Why is, why is this such a big deal? Is there is there some agenda behind making this a big deal? Yeah. It's kind of threefold. So it's like something actually happened. Right. Um, and it was like, oh, crap, get there fast. You know, like the Men in Black movies. Like, <laughs> right. Right. And then it was, all right, we got to cover this up. It's all over the news. Everybody saw it. What are we going to do? And then they throw in the guy, they get to the family, and they tell him, listen, in the interest of national security, we would like you to say this, and we'd like you to say that. And here's a bunch of money, possibly. Or, you know, whatever. So they make videos. Um, now, the average person's not going to stand back. Some idiot's going to go running in, like us. We'd be running in with the camera. Like... <laughs> Trying to get the evidence, you know, and mm -hmm. um, I just feel deception. Part of it is to make it look questionable so that in people's minds of like, oh, that didn't really happen. Um, there are aliens that are underneath the ground here in this earth um, contracted to do certain work by bad people people or other alien species um i don't question that but this was definitely ca came from i believe like the gray worker bees yeah well i thought i thought what you said the other the other day monday when we talked about this was, uh, first of all it, it is established that the meteor that was seen on two different cameras and was seen breaking up into pieces flew right over their house and then you said you saw two aliens, a taller one who was in control and a smaller one who was the minion. But you didn't necessarily say you saw them in their backyard. You saw them out retrieving something. So in other words, there could have been a- No, I didn't say that I saw the aliens. I said that I didn't see any entities standing there at that yeah. time. When in I their looked. yard. I'm saying you saw that there was some sent I out saw the craft, you, the piece of metallic some, something sticking right. in the ground. And I said, if they saw tall whites, yeah, because what, who fly those crafts, if it wasn't a drone, which I don't think that one was, are the little gray dudes that right. everybody sees in the abductions, okay? They're short. Um, the tall whites are um, that I saw in when I did the um, beneath the surface video, yeah, down in Idaho, were telling the little ones what to do. There was yeah. just a couple of them around, so they're the managers. So if they, they indeed, if they, they did indeed see them and they were really there, they're retrieving the craft. 
Well, that yeah, or a piece of the craft or something, the te technology that fell off because it does look like this thing was breaking up as it came down. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they're they. You're saying you saw like aliens on the ground, two of them, somewhere, but not necessarily at that house. It could have been somewhere else, and this could be like a cover story for that, right? I mean, they, it could have been somewhere else. I, I don't know, maybe I'm forgetting, but I remember looking at it, seeing the craft, but maybe I'm, I'm looking at the point of impact. Yeah, um, well, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying is that it, it appears there's no aliens in their backyard, but they could have been somewhere else where the actual bulk of the crash took place. So we don't know. I do believe there was an incident. I do believe they're in the process of trying to cover that up. Yeah. They're trying to create question. They're trying to put oh. out videos that like, oh, here, here it is. It's a face. No, that's a reflection. Okay, dismiss yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Then they went out and installed surveillance cameras around these people's compound for like, it's a, you know, it's a big compound. It's, it's a, just a dirt backyard uh, for like a month and took them down right before the story broke in the news on the 7th of June, which I think is really interesting. And they are not showing us the police body cam footage when they went into the backyard where the aliens were to investigate. They are showing none of that. And and that's... the only thing that doesn't match up with me is the color green. Yeah, the green skin, greenish skin. Now, I could be wrong. I usually, I don't see these things in, you know, in a solid form. I, I've seen them in the projection of consciousness and meditation. I've seen them um, when... Not the grays, but what I've seen um, entities in spirit form removing them from people. It is what it is. Um, nobody's green. Yeah. The the grays are kind of a whitish gray. The whites are like a little bit whiter and taller and skinny. Um, the reptilians look like little Godzillas sometimes, and then they got little minions minions that run around in people's houses that look like the little the guys that smoke all the cigarettes on Men in Black. Yeah. Yeah. You know the guys in the coffee room. Yep. Looks like that a little bit, pretty close, right. but they're either flesh colored. They're maybe a darker color. They're not like fluorescent green. And then the, the, the guy's description of the thing, first of all, from what I see, nobody got up close enough to see anybody's feet. And he said, oh, I saw his feet. He's got really weird feet. I saw his stomach moving. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, where's that video? I mean. Because when in, in this video that they're releasing, they're just going through the gate and they're all worried about it and they don't know what's going on. But then this guy's got walked right up to one. There's no way you can walk right up to one, first of all. If they can abduct people and people don't even remember, there's no way you're going to walk right up to one. And you're going to see it unless they want you to see them. Because they, you're probably going to pass out. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so I don't I don't trust the whole thing, but I do think something happened. I do think it is some kind of um, alien craft mm -hmm. or craft that is being used for things that we're not supposed to know about. Yeah. Um, but I think what we're witnessing here with the TikTok videos and all that stuff is um, cover up. Okay, 450 of you guys in the live stream today. Not bad for a Wednesday. Thanks for being here. We appreciate every single one of you. Keep you in mind that these videos get taken down off of the YouTube channels almost as soon as the show is complete to avoid the YouTube censorship, which we really don't like, and the algorithm. So that stuff gets taken down. The place you can find the video is over on mikebarra.blogspot.com if you were to go over there. You can see all of these videos. There's my guest appearance with Tom Reed and Jesse Waters. Here's today's show. Here's Monday's show. Here's the last few shows. Uh, the alien event coming up in uh, Las Vegas, of all places, September 14th through 17th. I'll be there. Brooks will be there. Sean David Morton will be there. Laura Eisenhower should be good stuff. Brad Olson's going to be fun in Las Vegas. Absolutely show up uh, to that event. And use the discount code Mike. Vera at checkout to get discounted tickets. It'll be really, really good stuff. Also, then please, you can find the videos over on Rumble. Go to Rumble, open up a new account, 
And uh, you can rumble rant. You can do a subscribe thing where you uh, link up your bank account or link up a credit card and pay a little bit of money and help the show out. We really appreciate that over on uh, Rumble. And also, please do not forget to visit our wonderful sponsors, the CBD Gurus over at thecbdgurus.com, where you can get all kinds of awesome CBD products for your health. And if you want to get this week's special, slide over to the Wholesale tab, slide down to Mike B Wholesale, type in the discount code A-L-I-E-N, not capital A, not an S. It's not aliens. It's A-L-I-E-N, A-L-I-E-N, all lowercase. And if you spend 50 bucks, you get 5 million Bolivar. If you spend 100 bucks, you get 10 million Bolivar and some Iraqi dinar and some apple cider gummy for weight loss support. And for 150, you get 15 million Bolivar thrown in with that. Um, Call Evan with any questions. We've got all kinds of cool products. There are super full spectrum gummies, immunity, um, the immunity formula, the chocolate gummies, the. um, I got less than 10 minutes. Miracle Gold. The CBD gurus, all that stuff. Jen, uh, Jen, why don't you tell us what's going on over at Jennifer? Yeah, I just Florida. realized I got I've got a student at, at uh, eleven. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't forgot. know that. Right, I, I know, not, I didn't forget. I would have not taken as much time with the other stuff. Okay, I know. Okay, um, what's going on at JenniferFalla.com? You can go there. You can get healings. You can get readings. Right now, we had a forty-eight hour half price sale. I will not have time to take that down probably until tonight, so you can sneak in there and still get it. All right, get okay. in there. Stock up if you would like multi- buy multiple things. Use uh just total them up. Use the love button. Email me. Tell me what you did, and I will mm-hmm. respond to you. I'm about a day behind on emails, but I go one by one, and I do get to all of them. Uh, JenniferForLaw.com. Great. Okay. So let's do rapid uh, fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get a couple questions in. Um, sorry about this, guys. I like to get a couple. Questions and there's one over on Rumble from a lady named Candace, not the one we would normally go to. Uh, I'm in Canada. My son and wife fled Ukraine. Wait, my wife? Okay. Uh, do you see my son getting a job online soon? Yeah, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Okay. Let's go back over to our pinned messages. Uh, can't go with any of the comments. Uh, somebody said Nader. They feel like Nader has been compromised. Do you feel like Nader's compromised? I know you never really completely trusted him, but how do you feel about Nader right now? He's putting out misinformation. He's been told to. Been told to put out misinformation, which must mean there's something to be misinformed about, which means there's something going on. Uh, hello, this is Denise. I have found our dream house that we want to get after the RV. Do you see us getting it? Well, of course, because there's going to be that specific house. No, but you'll, you'll find one pretty close. (laughs) Jen, do you see us having a celebratory party at Mike and Dave's in Vegas in the near future? It's not big enough for that, but maybe the Palms. Uh, well, maybe we'll have it at the Palms. I don't know. Uh, I do. I can actually see the ballroom and the round tables and there's some kind of a uh, short uh, stage. There's a podium. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some kind of back room where Mike and I, I think meet and come out and yeah, I've been seeing it in my mind for a while. I don't know when it is and I don't know where it is, but um, I see that. Cool. Um all right. I, I just want to do anything that might be personal. Um, Jen, do you see the cable cut in the ocean? That's personal. Yeah, Jen saw that in Gentel like four months ago. Remember? Something about everything being cut off. So internet being cut off. Okay, now I'm trying to look and I see lots of different cables uh, all over the place. Are we aware of that? No, um, being cut? No. I would have to look, and you would have to give me a location. Tammy wants to know, well, you said the Atlantic cables would be cut, I think, is what we got. So that's pretty interesting stuff. Um, but it is something that's been brought up in the news in the last week. That's why it's it's relevant. Uh, Tammy I don't think, wants- I'm not getting that that's been done yet. Okay. I will know if that's done. Tammy wants to know why her cat Milo has been throwing up lately. Uh, 
I would treat him for parasites, and it's also some kind of inflammation thing. So right. take him to the vet. Uh, Mary, take everything to your everything to your appointment. Everything. Um, Karen Kalf. Uh, we got three and four, three or four minutes left. Uh, hi, Jen. My my Karen's mom Esther has been priced out of her apartment. We're both stressing. Should we just settle for any place, or will the RV come through through to get her a nicer? It's these Are landlords. Ah, uh, Esther, Gabriel. You're going to find a place very soon. Cool. It's going to be okay. Um, That's why everyone, all my kids live with me right now because the rents are outrageous. Schumann yeah. resident questions. Yeah, it was like, you know, if we're going to be paying this much money, we may as well buy some. Well, these landlords buy these properties at an adjustable rate. Okay. And so when it goes and when it's down, they're doing good. When it goes up, they raise the rent. And that's ridiculous. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Any any other All right, we don't really don't have like until eleven because that's when she's gonna call me and I don't have my headphones right here. So um <laughs> call so me. You're, call you're me gonna... two minutes two minutes late. I, I'm just again these big these big political questions all that stuff I don't uh, we'll just do one more I want to do personal ones real quick Jen any healing is appreciated for Tanya N my sister Jerry's friend who is battling three types of cancer been healing and sending love energy but she is in IC should have come to me earlier um, send me an email uh, with the picture quickly. Um, I'll do my best. I'll just do a yeah. healing. I'll and guys, um, before I, I talked to my my good friend Steve Doran yesterday uh, extensively, and he beat spinal cancer, which should have killed him three, four years ago. And what he did is he cut all sugar out of his diet. Like, no more fast food, no sugar, no soda, no ca Carbs. candy, nothing. And it, it, it fixed everything. And he refused any and all of their treatments no radiation no chemo no nothing and he's going to make a video about it i'm going to help him and he's going to start talking to people about that stuff so I, awesome. as someone who has a high sugar diet i definitely know i need to change um, it's very important stuff all right jen thank you for being here um we'll let you go and everybody else you guys have a great wednesday i'll be back for the friday afternoon show jen and i will be back on monday with a gen tell update i'm going to assume um Love you guys. Have a great day and relax. They signed the budget. It's a step forward. We're getting closer. They yes, can't, one piece of good news today. Do not get too wrapped up in the Durham thing. It's annoying. Right. Can't go much longer. Really can't.